Hey everyone, Scott here, better known as Nerebo, and today I'm going to tell you how I created this custom livery. It's actually a livery for my Sand Spotter brand. Uh, there's a link in the description below if you're curious about that, but that's not the point of this video. Uh, I just want to show you how I created this from scratch uh, with no idea in mind what it's going to look like even before I started. And uh, long story short, this is a Boeing 797 concept template that I created. Uh, there's a link in the description below for the template, the free version. If you want it, go and get that. Uh, it's just a concept. It's not what I'm proclaiming the 797 to be, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I am in Adobe Illustrator right now. And I've got my Sand Spotter logo that I created. And I'm using that as my base for this design. And like I said earlier, I have no idea what this is going to look like as I'm going through this process of, of laying it out. And uh, that's usually the way that I work. I just I like to place elements on the aircraft itself and then build around it. Or more specifically, I like to place one element and then build the entire livery around that. So as you can see, what I'm doing here is I've got those swoops coming through the, the logo. And it's a perfect opportunity for me to extend those down into the fuselage and into the rest of the aircraft. And it makes a whole lot of sense because there's a lot of motion to this logo. It goes from left to right. And, uh, you know, I did that on purpose because I knew that this was going to be applied to an aircraft and I was going to make an entire livery out of it. So I knew I wanted to have a logo that would lend itself to being extended somehow and placed onto an airplane. So what you see me doing here is just experimenting with extending that logo somehow. I was struggling a little bit in the beginning because I wanted to use the entire fuselage. I just didn't want to come down in the, in the rear section. I wanted to do something really, I don't know, just something, I wanted to use the entire aircraft as my canvas, so to speak. And as you see here, I've really, I, I just can't get away from the idea of going all the way to the forward section of the aircraft and it's not quite looking exactly how I want it yet. To me, it was looking a little bit too roundy at this point. It just didn't seem to flow into the, the tail graphic. And I knew that there was a lot more work to be done. And yeah, so here you see me going and trying to add some color, which usually helps sometimes instead of just working with black and white tones. If you add some color, it helps to, to, to visualize what this is actually going to look like. And I... And again, I had no idea what colors that I wanted to use for this livery, and I thought something black and yellow, or just using a vibrant color like yellow, would really be a nice accent color, because I didn't want to get too colorful with it. But anyway, that's not the point. I'm getting ahead of myself here. <laughs> I'm just basically adding color to try and hash out what this design is going to look like. And at this point, I thought maybe if I added the logo back to the front section of the aircraft, maybe that might help me find some lines or some arcs that I can use to continue all the way to the back. And I like what I've got going on in the back section now. I like how it's coming from the vertical stabilizer down into the fuselage, but I just, I was just struggling trying to figure out how to get that forward or how to bring it more towards the front of the aircraft. And here I've got a, a, a downward or a concave arc going from that livery from the back all the way to the front. And that didn't last long. I, I know I struggled with this a little bit and there was just something something odd about it. It was just like, it's hard to explain. It just it just didn't seem like it was doing enough when it when it came down in that arc going forward. So didn't like that, but then here, I kind of like what I did by filling the entire aircraft with color. At first, I was kind of thinking maybe maybe white was going to be the way to go, and I was just going to do, you know, a yellow and maybe a black color scheme. And like I said, I didn't know. And when I filled the entire aircraft with color, it actually started to look pretty good. And that's how this livery came to be. I'm not done yet, but it just... It just goes to show you, you just need to experiment with shapes and maybe add some color if you get stuck and build off the logo. I think that's the really important key here. 
And you always got to start with that because that is the brand of the livery. No matter what livery it is, whether it's something real or it's just a concept or whatever, starting with the logo first, place it where you want on the aircraft, and then build off of the shapes of that specific logo and, and you know all the little details of it. And that's exactly what I did here. And through trial and error, <laughs> it's just the way that it goes sometimes, I ended up with this. And the thing that I didn't really like about this design was the fact that it didn't really say what it was. So Sandspotter Airways was the name of this thing. And having the big SS logo on the front of the aircraft and then the a partial version of that logo on the tail didn't really say what it was, which was kind of a mistake on my part. So that's why I added the Sandspotter Airways text in light gray just at the top of the fuselage, just next to the, the big SS logo. Again, it's probably not the best airline livery design in the world in that sense because, I don't know, it just, I mean, from a branding point of view, it fails. Not only that, the logo on the tail, it doesn't work when you flip it around to the other side. And I didn't realize that until I actually created this, uh, or I, I put this livery on a 3D model that I had, and I realized that mistake, and... Yeah, major, major fail, but that's the way it goes when you do airline livery design, and I think we're just going to call this one done. There it is. There is the Sandspotter Airways 797 concept in, I don't know what you even call this. It's kind of a, a grayish, yellowish, whitish, very Amazon-like livery, but... Yeah. Anyway, if you want this template, the PSD version that uh, has all the layers separated with all of the elements on separate layers for maximum editability, uh, check out the link in the description below. You can sign up for the Norebo Discount Club. That'll get you 50% uh, off your entire first order from my online store, my online aircraft template store. And uh, it's a really good deal because no matter how much you order, you're going to get 50% off. And uh, it's a great way to get started with airline livery design or if you're just doing flight sim stuff or whatever. It's a really good resource. So anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you have any questions, do leave them down in the comment section below. I'm probably going to redo this livery again. And uh, yeah, like I said, there are some definite issues with it. And I will be posting that video here. So do stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.